Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. If you're worried about estrogen dominance in your body, it's really important that you understand the role magnesium plays. So let's talk about that. In estrogen dominance, generally we're seeing a few symptoms. In women, we can see heavy periods, fibroids forming. We can see headache, insomnia, moodiness, breast tenderness. Those are some of the more common symptoms. The question becomes what might be going on in the body and magnesium plays a critical role in this. But first let's start with an enzyme called COMT. It's catechol-O-methyltransferase. That's a fancy term, but what's going on when your body breaks down estrogen, there's basically three phases. COMT is an enzyme that's involved in the second phase. And what's happening, and, and it's important to point out too, COMT helps break down not just estrogen, but dopamine and cortisol and norepinephrine. So it's involved in a lot of these things. But for COMT to work properly and help break down that estrogen, it's, it's driven by genetics, so that's part of it, but it's also requiring certain cofactors. There's some B vitamins that are required, but the most important one we believe is magnesium. So if you don't have enough magnesium, your COMT is not going to be as active. When it's not as active, it's not going to be able to help break down that second phase of estrogen. We will eventually have a buildup of phase one compounds, and those can be converted to things that we believe, at least at this point, can contribute to cancer. So that's why this is important. Um, the other reason magnesium is important, there's an enzyme in your system called beta-glucuronidase. Okay, another long term, but what it does, when, when we get to this phase three, basically your body is packaging up this estrogen to be eliminated. It's water soluble at this third phase. So it can be eliminated through your kidneys or it can be eliminated through bile products and through your stool and your body gets rid of it. However, beta-glucuronidase We'll take that estrogen and kind of break it up or decouple it. And that allows the estrogen to kind of float around in your system. If it gets to the large intestine, it can actually be reabsorbed and then cause even lower magnesium levels and other sorts of problems. Now, all this to point out, this doesn't make estrogen bad. It makes it bad when it gets out of whack. As we've gone through, magnesium is important to this process. Does that mean you should supplement with magnesium? Possibly the first step should be to make sure that your magnesium levels, how you're eating are optimized. We always want to start with food, not supplements. However, if you talk to your doctor and decide that magnesium is the way to go, I would go with magnesium glycinate. I think it's going to be much more effective for this particular instance. I'll put a link to the magnesium glycinate I recommend. It's kind of changed because some of the products I used to recommend, they're now throwing magnesium oxide in there. So I'll just make sure that it's always magnesium glycinate. So um, hope this video was helpful, you guys, and this kind of clears up some issues. I will see you in the next one. Thanks.